Hello and welcome back to another video at Take Refuge TV. I'm Peter and I just first of all want to start off by saying thank you so much for all of the uh, views on my previous video. It took me from 60 subs to over 100 in just a couple of days which doesn't sound like a lot but it truly does mean a lot to me. It, it means that you know I, I feel like I'm doing the right thing. And please like and subscribe if you're enjoying my content so far. Um, I do videos on 3D modeling and a bit of texturing as well. So yeah, please like and subscribe. Uh, just a quick correction, bit of housekeeping from my previous video. I did state incorrectly and by mistake that plasticity was a hundred US dollars a month, which not only isn't true, but an awful pricing bracket. The actual pricing is 99 US dollars for a perpetual license or 299 US for the studio version. So after your free trial, which is a month, you can pick it up for 99 bucks and um, 2.99 for the studio version. With the cheaper version, you'll get 1.x updates and the studio version, you'll get 2.x updates as well. So I do believe that if you really want to support um, plasticity and get updates for longer, um, get the 299 version because I imagine that it probably will go up in price as the the features um, get along. I don't know, I don't actually know what the dev has planned, but uh, it's a very powerful software and it's worth more than a hundred bucks for sure. Um, in the meantime, I've just been working on a couple of little objects like this guy here. Um, so he is a little robot. I found some concept art off Google and I sort of elaborated it on a bit. And let me know if you want to see modeling tutorials for stuff like that. But to cel celebrate 100 subs, I've decided to have a hot dog. And not just any hot dog, but a NURBS hot dog. So I'm going to do a very quick uh, hands-on here. And we're going to make a hot dog because I know a lot of people like to make this sci-fi stuff. So I thought it'd be fun to do something that's a little bit more real worldy. So um, you might you might pick up a couple of tips, like I said. So let's crack into it and um, see what we like. So I'm just going to start a new file, go out of rendered mode, and let's just change the uh, background settings to um, have a bit more of a grey um, background just for ease of modelling. Okay, we're going to change this guy over to this uh, uh, map cap here. So, in true, I'm going to press Alt Shift Z and get the uh, grid back. And in true Blender fashion, we're just going to delete that default cube. Okay, so uh, what shape is a hot dog? It's a round shape. So let's make a round shape, and I'm just going to rotate that by pressing R and X and nine zero on my numpad and whacking Enter and right click to confirm. So I'm just going to pull this along uh, the uh, Y axis here and then I want to press 2 to go into edge mode and 2 on the number keys at the top not the numpad and then I'm going to fill it this and then I'm going to use the I'm going to use the curve of the cylinder to give it a round end like that. Um, let's just pull this guy out a little bit. G and Y. Uh, actually, we need to go into number four and select the whole object. G and Y. Pull them along a little bit. Three for face mode. Let's just get rid of this curve. Okay. Uh, good to clean up as you go along. I'm just going to pull that so it's going a little bit past the uh, the red X axis there. Okay, so what we're going to do next, we're going to press Alt and X to mirror that, and then we're going to mirror on this one. And then we press Q for union. Okay, so now we've got a sausage. Okay, so what we're going to do next, we're going to go Alt Z, go into X-ray mode, go press number one on the numpad, and we're just going to make another circle, Alt Z. And that should be in the middle. Oh, it's not in the middle. It doesn't really matter where we put this one. So I'm going to go G, Y, and we're going to make this a roundabout bun sized. Okay, so we're just going to pull that one out and we're going to do the exact same thing with the ends, cleaning up our curves as we go along. And we're going to pull this one in. Uh, let's do both ends actually. Oh, we only need to do one because we can mirror it again. Okay, and we're just going to use that curve there. 
Okay, so we're going to press Alt X again, mirror on that, cue to union, and we've got our sausage bun. Okay, so now I'm going to press number one. I'm going to go line, or you can press Shift A, and I'm just going to pull a line down here. I'm going to right click to confirm the line. I'm going to press C to cut, and we're going to just cut this object. Right click to confirm. I'm going to get rid of my curve. Okay, and then what we'll do next is we're going to go number four into object mode. And we're going to rotate this, but if I press rotate Y, it rotates around the center of the object. So that's not the behavior we want. So we're going to go rotate, press V for pivot, and choose the center intersection or the origin. And now we'll be able to rotate it around this X axis. Now we do want it to be... Uh, reasonably open and then we're going to do the same with the other side so rotate R for rotate V for pivot center intersection and just pull it around this uh, red X axis now we're going to union the bun so we're going to go alt Z just to go out of x-ray mode choose this bun choose that bun and it's red so we need to press Q to make it a union and now we've got a bun okay so number four uh, the sausage is a little bit big, uh, so actually I'm going to make the bun bigger, S and S, and we're just going to scale that up, okay, and we're going to scale this one up again, and pull it up, okay, and we've got that there, okay, um, that's okay, we're going to go Shift D to duplicate, scale it up just a little bit more, Choose this, Q, Union, and we've got a little bit of a hole in there for our sausage. So what we're going to do, we're going to pull these two out. We're just going to give them more of a natural curve, and then we're going to do a curve on the edge of the bun. Now, what's a hot dog without sauce? Okay, actually, I'm going to just choose the hot dog, and I'm going to S, 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 Y, and just make it a bit longer, actually. And we'll maybe maybe make it a bit smaller and GZ. Okay, it's intersecting a little bit, but this is just a quick tutorial, so no bother. Okay, what we're going to do next, we're going to select this um, sausage in object mode. And we're going to press numpad into uh, numpad period and to go into uh, isolated mode. We're going to go seven up the top, and we're just going to go up the right here, and we're going to click on grid snapping, okay? And we're going to choose a line, and we're just going to pull this line down like that, okay? And we're going to make this zigzag shape. Now you'll see what I'm doing in a moment. Once we right click to confirm that, we can go one into, um, we might just want to pull that one wide a little bit, uh, about there, and B to bevel it, okay, and now we've got some source. Uh, we may need to bring this, turn off grid snapping, uh, two for um, edge mode, G, and we're just going to bring this above the sausage, like that, like so. So we'll go into seven on the numpad to go into um, top view, and we're gonna go scale, and we'll just scale it on this Y a little bit here. And G, and just get it nicely placed. Now, there's a function that you can do is you can press pipe, okay, and you get a pipe there, and you can play with the size and whatnot. But, um, if we do that, if we do a pipe, and we right click, it's not going to conform to the shape of the sausage. So nice little top tip here, go top top view, and see this little icon, project curve onto surfaces, or you can just press I, and then you select the object that you want it to be projected onto, and then you can right click to confirm. So hopefully this works the first time. Pipe, yep, and we can just pull that up, make it a bit more juicy okay and then with the top fillets we can just fill up these to give them a little bit of a no 
maybe just okay so now we've got the sauce on top of there now we've pretty much got a hot dog let's just mess with the scale a little bit just to um, maybe bring that up a little bit okay and then let's just give it some color so you can go shift alt z to get rid of the um, grid um, and then you can remove the show edges and let's just go into this um, plain mode now you can press M on the keyboard you can select that material color you won't be able to see the material dialog box because of the way that I've got OBS set up and let's get a nice uh, orangey pink for this uh, sausage nope that's far too wrong that looks horrible let's try something like okay and then for the mustard bright yellow bright yellow mustard none of that posh brown stuff here okay and then the bun we just want to be brown okay and there we have it a lovely hot dog now you can try out the different material modes a lovely shiny hot dog and a metallic hot dog okay so that is a very quick tutorial I hope you got a couple of little tips out of that uh, I, I wanted to do something fast that had some tips in there so we'll get rid of our curves finally and we have a uh, delicious looking artificial looking hot dog it almost looks like hot dog candy okay so once again i really want to thank everybody who watched my previous video and uh this was just a quick one let me know if you want to see some more longer form uh tutorials or what, what you'd like to see from me um maybe i'll do a short course on making a robot or something like that let me know in the comments like and subscribe thanks a lot see you later